with the KX News Storm Team. It's 547. Welcome back. I think I'm uh, looking forward to this week and I, mm -hmm. we have, you know, just a few little snow mountains left here and there, but sounds like after this week, they're probably going to be gone. They will be gone actually pretty <laughs> soon here today. It's going to do some damage to those mm -hmm. snow mounds and the rest of the week will continue to do so as well. Here's your Bismarck Almanac. 57 is our forecast high today. 63 is that average. That record was set back in 1955 at 94 degrees. Let's head to Minot where today we're also looking at the upper 50s. The record of 89 that was set back in 1955 as well and the average high is 64 not too far from the average now this is a brand new month so it's a brand new forecast and a brand new set of data so let's take a look at what we typically see for May. This is taking 30 years worth of data and then gaining that average from that. So we typically go from 63 to 74 in terms of the daytime highs. This would be the first of the month. That's our average high. The end of the month, our average high is about 74 degrees. In terms of moisture for the entire month, we typically see about two and a half inches. We know that every year is different. That's just an average of the last uh, 30 years. Here's our satellite and radar. Just a few sprinkles in the southwest. It's gonna be a quiet day in terms of rain today and cloud cover temperatures this morning mainly in the 30s we've got 32 in watford city 34 in rugby 32 in dick and, and bismarck rather uh, winds are out of the east 5 to 10 or so they stay easterly today at around 5 to 15 so it's a, a lot lighter of a wind for you today so you can enjoy these 50s and 60s as best you can out there with those uh, nice and sunny skies and uh, dry conditions as well now in terms of the next few days in terms of, of rain we don't have a lot happening here heading into tonight uh, maybe a few sprinkles off towards the west, but we are looking for a dry forecast for the next few days. A system that wants to stay to our south could eject a few isolated showers to some of our southern counties as we head into Wednesday. Um, but really, at this point, we're going to keep a mostly dry week. Lows tonight, well, they're back down to the 30s again, some upper 20s off towards the northeast, and we have a nice and warm Tuesday, slightly warmer than today. We've got this warming trend happening all week this week. Lots of 50s and again, 60s off towards the west, but we even have a chance to see a lot of 70s as we head towards the end of the week, especially into the weekend. With this comes a chance for a little rain, especially as we head into Saturday and into Sunday. Even the cool down on Sunday, we cool down to the 60s. And I think in terms of wind, if you want to know when wind could be a big factor for you, well, at this point, I'm looking at Friday and Saturday as a couple of days. It could be the windiest. Of course, they're also the warmest at this point. Here's your forecast for Dickinson. Temperatures staying in the 60s over the next few days. A lot of opportunity for sunshine here. Also in Williston, got a beautiful start to the day. A little light in the sky before that sun rises. And we're going to be pushing 70 on Wednesday, probably hitting it by Thursday. Here's that Minot forecast. We've got temperatures above average for a change heading into the end of the week and into the weekend. Chances for some rain kind of a little more widespread as we head into Saturday. Maybe even some thunderstorms in the south as we head into Saturday for Bismarck. Here's your forecast over the next week. Again, kind of a nice warming trend here. Looking back at the month of April, we averaged about six degrees below average for the month, um, which actually is, is pretty chilly. Mm -hmm. This this month, we're looking pretty good. We're starting off average and actually above average for the first full weekend of May. Oh, that's good. I think we all deserve a little reprieve yeah. <laughs> from the weather we've had. And some warmth. ground wants it too. Yeah, exactly. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Amber. And plenty of stories ahead on Good Day Dakota, including a local man sent